vlog i hope you're all doing really really well jay's joining me for the intro of this one which have you done that before a few times jay's here we're going on date night tonight which should be really really fun mm -hmm. we just got ready got a couple of minutes before we need to leave so we thought we'd just start the vlog tonight because we want to show you what we're doing we don't usually start the vlog in the evening so this feels a little weird bit weird. One. Yeah, it feels weird. But we just thought we may as well because today's been sort of a nothing day. It's been chill. It has. Well, we have been productive. We got up. We did a food shot. We've been putting that... <laughs> we've been productive. We got up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a start. We did a food shot, which we've been putting off for... Ever. We've been putting that off for such a long time. So we did that. And then we've been watching the Horror Nights vlogs that mm. have come out. It's September 2nd so today. So... Everyone's Horror Nights vlogs are coming out, so we literally clicked on it straight away, like the first one we saw, because we're so desperate to like see what it's going to be like. Because obviously we're going in five weeks time. We're excited. So, so, so excited. We didn't really mind that it was getting spoiled because I was saying earlier. I feel spoiled. Yeah, one, I was way too excited to wait. There was no way I was waiting to see what all those houses look like on the inside. And two, a bit less scary if you know what you're walking into. <laughs> Because I'm true. like, yeah, I hate live actors. But anyway, that's a story for another day. I'm going to go downstairs now and get our shoes on. Get ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. The weather's been actually quite hot today, which makes a change because that's like a first for this summer. But I'm actually going to put this jacket on. Let me show you. It's this denim one from Stradivarius. Love it. It has really big pockets. And I'm just going to slip this over the top. Literally, I've just got on a crop top and black trousers. TMI, I had to wear black trousers that touch the floor because I haven't shaved my legs, so no ankle was going on show tonight. I just realised we've not even said what we're doing tonight. Nope. Do you want to tell them? You can tell them. We're going to see Heathers, the musical, and... I don't know anything about it. Neither do I. I'm so excited. I've purposefully not listened to any of the songs. I know nothing about the yeah. story, plot, music, nothing. I know nothing about it either. And that's crazy because I love musicals, but I've purposefully saved this one. Like, for some reason, I've just avoided it for the longest time. And we ended up getting tickets, I'd say, back in March. Something like that, quite a while ago. We got tickets ages ago. Basically, it was touring in our town, so we just thought, right, we're going to get some tickets, and the day has finally come. I can't even remember buying them, to be honest. Yeah, it was such a long time ago. <laughs> Off topic, I saw a tweet earlier that was like, girl math, buying tickets way in advance. It's like a free gig or a free theatre yeah. visit. If you buy the tickets months in advance, it's technically free when you go. Math. Yeah, that is girl math. Do you know we're going to Disney World? Mm. It's free, because we paid it off. <laughs> So when we go, we got we can just spend loads of money because technically the trip was free. Girl math. Put in the comments some of your girl math that you do because I love those. I love those TikToks. They're so funny. Anyway, we should probably get on the road now because the show starts at 7.30 and it's currently... Ten past six. Okay, we've got time. But it takes about half an hour to get there. Mm. So... And then we're accounting for traffic as well, being yeah. responsible. Yeah, and then we want to get a drink, want to find our seats, want to chill, want to check out what the stage looks like, etc, etc. So we are going to get on the road now. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone I am tired it's not even late, it's literally 10.30ish, took us half an hour to get home, but 
we're in now driving home through the city on a saturday night was chocker you can hear nero coming upstairs now so i'm gonna hang up my jacket take this makeup off and then get into bed because i'm tired if i didn't already mention it 10 times i can hear him out here hello good boy I was literally about to get into bed and then I realised I've not even said how I thought the musical was or anything so quick wrap up that was really really good was not expecting what it was about to be honest I didn't even know a single thing going in apart from maybe the odd chorus to a song but wow I did not expect that it was funny it was just so fun it wasn't as PG as I was expecting it to be like it was quite like adult the themes were very adult and I enjoyed it I think my favorite character was Heather Chandler and Veronica of course those two were really really great the actresses who played those two characters were amazing Jay really enjoyed it too we loved it, it was it was a really nice night out if you haven't seen it before i would definitely recommend getting a ticket to see it if you can i don't know how long it's touring for or where it's touring but definitely go see it go check it out i just want to fall into bed might watch some more halloween horror night stuff or might actually put on a series of unfortunate events because we've been re-watching that and I love it so much there's like a part where they go into this hotel and that's sort of where we're up to with it and that's my favourite part and Schmidt from New Girl is in it and it's just like Hello Did you enjoy it? It was really good What would you rate it out of 10? I would give it a 7 7 out of 10, you yes. heard it from the horse's mouth this is not good lighting. Happy Sunday everyone. You have joined me on the sofa in my Sunday cozies. I also have a big blanket and I'm basically just snuggling up because I have just had such a morning. Like you know when everything's just not going your way and you wake up sort of feeling like today's not gonna be my day. That's how it's gone. So I literally woke up and I was like, it feels like it should be the middle of the night. Took my eye mask off and it was nine o'clock. Time to take Nero out. So we got straight up. Then I went back to bed for a little bit because I was just not feeling it. Like, you know, you just like, I need to get back in bed and have a sleep. So I did that. And then Jay got up to film a YouTube video and I <laughs> got up out of bed and smacked my shin straight on the bed and it absolutely killed and i'm telling you a bump came up straight away like you know when you're watching your leg and you can just see it rising i now have a lump the size of a tennis ball on my leg so that was not nice and really hurts i can feel it throbbing and i've never had a lump form before when i've hurt myself i've never experienced that so it's really really strange and honestly my shin made contact with that bed so brutally that oh even thinking about it's making me shiver so i just sort of thought today is not the day we were gonna do a huge clean today and basically tidy the whole house but i've decided against that i'm not one of those girls who enjoys cleaning so i'm gonna push that to another day this week it needs doing but it can wait so it's going to wait i'm thinking maybe tomorrow so if i say it on the vlog i feel like i'm holding myself accountable and i'm actually going to get to the cleaning during the vlog i'm extending the vlog into a weekly vlog because i was gonna vlog today i was gonna vlog the cleaning i was gonna film a video but Today is just not going to plan, so I'm just gonna call it a write-off. It's like getting later in the day now and I'm just sat in the living room. I think I'm just gonna sit here, watch telly. Jay's gonna come downstairs. We're gonna decide something to watch, have some dinner together and just have a little chill night in the house together which is one of my favourite things to do on a Sunday. I feel like Sunday is the day before going back to work, so I just want to do nothing but chill on the couch. I'm not in a bad mood or anything. It's just like you only wake up and you just like the vibes off. I can't believe it's Monday again tomorrow. The weekend always goes so, so quick. Do you guys feel that? Like Monday to Friday drags and then Saturday, Sunday goes by in the blink of an eye. I actually can't believe it. I definitely want to put some of my autumn decor out because I haven't done that yet and it's September now, so I feel like it's it's time and actually I like I have put a little bit of it out but I have loads in the cupboard that I just sort of save for September October time I'm just gonna wait for Jay now just chilling the living room is looking so so cozy because he was filming a video in here and I'm just happy like I'm in a good mood I just thought I'd show you our little living room like pan around it I wasn't vlogging at the time but we did fully renovate this house and sometimes I just sit in this little corner of the sofa and I just think I can't believe that this is our completed living room I just feel so lucky it's so my style we have like all of our 
little signed vinyls there we have this amazing pumpkin and sherpa chair which is like one of my favorite things in the house fake monstera because i cannot keep a plant alive <laughs> And we have this amazing L-shaped sofa and blanket. Also have this Stars Hollow print, which is one of my favourite things in this room. I'm such a Gilmore Girls stan, I literally live for it. Got Nero down there, he has a little teepee in the corner. And yeah, I just sometimes sit in this room and I'm like, I can't believe it's finished. It's actually been finished for two years and I still think that. It's my happy place. I actually think it's getting to about the time where I would want to start watching the Gilmore Girls again. I feel like that's something that I physically have to do every single autumn time because it's just such a cosy show and it's honestly my happy place. Jay has never actually watched it all the way through, which... It's just unacceptable to be honest, so I might actually get him to watch it with me this year. Maybe that can be our sleep show. We've been re-watching Chilling Adventures of Sabrina as well, which is another one of my comfort shows. Like, does, I feel like everyone has just those comfort shows where you return to them all the time and you just re-watch and re-watch and re-watch every year. Mine are Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, The Vampire Diaries, that is one of my favourite shows ever. I love re-watching Gilmore Girls, I love re-watching iZombie, Veronica Mars. I love anything that's just like, it's one nostalgic and two just so comforting. It's getting to that time of year where you rewatch the comfort shows and that's like my favourite time of year. We need to get a pumpkin spice latte in this vlog. Thank you. It's alright. Yum. The best. Right, we've got our Pepsi Max. Got a question. Go on. Tell everyone in the vlog what the bump on my leg is the size of. Honestly, it's like a small golf ball. <laughs> I, I feel like it's a little bit smaller, but it's big. I said a tennis ball. Oh, did you know, I was, was I being dramatic? I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Maybe like just the circumference of a golf ball. Yeah. It's, it's big though, to say you just like dinged it on the side of the bed. Maybe I was being dramatic. Maybe. It looks bad. <laughs> can't, I can't go and get my own snacks because my leg hurts. Yeah, I can't possibly make dinner with this golf oh, ball on my leg. Oh. You made it downstairs though, so. Barely. Barely. Mm. <laughs> All jokes aside, we're going to watch some YouTube. Who are we going to watch? Uh, we're watching... Oh, don't start. We're watching Paging Mr. Morrow at the moment. Yeah, he's our new fave. Mm. We love Tim Tracker as well. Mm -hmm. Tim Tracker, Paging Mr. Morrow, PC Dev. Got another question. Mm -hmm. What are your top five comfort shows? The Office, obviously. Mm -hmm. Superstore. I think is a good one. Stranger Things. I want to say Game of Thrones. That was a good rewatch. It's not something I'll go back to all the time. Somebody feed Phil. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. over I've got a jumper on even though it's still hot and I do have some pasta boiling on the stove for dinner so I'm excited for that but I did get some Amazon parcels in the post today so let's open those together it's nothing exciting so I actually got two parcels in the post this one and then a little bit of a larger one so the first thing that I got were these whimsies for Nero it's actually his birthday next week so I bought him a big big box of these he loves these two brushes and these crocodiles and he's never had this one before so thought I would get those for him it's literally a box of 56 so it should last him forever yes I am that crazy dog lady who buys the dog presents I'll never change and then the next thing that I purchased was these sunglasses looking at them now I'm a little bit like what was I thinking because they're giving secret agent <laughs> but they were 12 pound and I'm sure they'll be fine for holiday okay, I'm gonna try them on please be nice Oh no. Oh no. You look like 1990s Lara Croft. I found more like circular style glasses on you. Yeah, I thought I would try a bit different. some square, but yeah, I think you need a very specific face shape to get away with these. I think they're just too wide for my face. Yeah. I think they were a bit smaller width wise they might be okay but yeah they're not working bad i find sunglasses so hard like 
Jay's right, I think a rounder frame does suit me better, but I already have some Ray-Bans that are like that. If you have any recommendations, please do let me know. The sunglasses hunt continues. Dinner is served and someone's hanging around just in case. Dinner is all done. I'm so sorry if you can hear the cooker cooling down in the background. I do apologize for that. I am gonna start tidying now. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually put the laundry in because that's sort of staring at me. So I'm gonna just put that in now. Well, I'll put the first load in and then there's gonna be more loads to do because there's still more clothes in the wash basket and I also want to strip the bed and change the sheets tonight. So I'm gonna do that. I cannot make a good meal at the moment. I don't know why. Something seems to go wrong every single time I cook something. Like that pasta looked really good, but the pasta is definitely undercooked and I'm someone who really likes soft, like almost overdone pasta. So it just wasn't it. And I made a sausage pasta about a week ago and it honestly tasted like cardboard. And what else did I make? Oh yeah, I made a stir fry, just like a vegetable chicken stir fry and the chicken was underdone and it really gave me the ick so now I feel a bit weird about chicken. I just feel like I'm in a funk at the minute and I can't, I don't know, I just can't cook at the minute. Something always goes wrong. So I think I'm just cursed. Oh, hopefully not actually. Let's not, let's not put that energy into the world. Let's start the cleaning now. I'm only gonna do a little bit because it is Monday and I'm tired and I just wanna chill. Let's do it. Also, the consensus on the sunglasses is they are going back. I watch those clips back and I look absolutely ridiculous in them. So they are going back to Amazon. is everything. goods i said to myself today is pumpkin spice latte day saying that pumpkin spice latte it is 27 degrees today which is absolutely crazy i'm on my lunch break by the way which is why i'm sat in the car but i went through the starbucks drive through because there was no parking at starbucks and i got the psl the first one of the year and i'm literally so 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 excited to try it this is the first taste so let's do this is it going to be as good as i remember i can't really remember how it tastes if i'm honest I love it so much. It honestly just tastes like autumn. Even though it's 27 degrees right now, that is hitting the spot. Absolutely love it. It sort of reminds me of about two years ago when I started my current job, I had some annual leave left over. So I ended up taking a week in October because that's like my favorite month. And basically like, sorry, I'm just like scrunching up in my car. Basically like we took this month in October and Jay was off as well and we just chilled. We did all these autumn things, carved pumpkins. We watched really cozy series. We watched Hocus Pocus and all that stuff and pumpkin spice latte taste it just reminds me of that it's like when i drink it i'm like transported back to that week and it was just such a lovely week i always wish that i had enough annual leave just to take a random week in october every year because i think i would definitely do that if i did i am getting so warm in this car right now it's literally 27 degrees i don't know why we've had no summer whatsoever it's been raining every single day and then this week has just shot up 27 28 30 degrees some days and then next week it's shooting back down again which just doesn't make any sense but we're rolling with it. I'm in the car and I'm just parked in like a random car park because as I said there was no parking at Starbucks so I just had to sort of drive to the nearest car park that I knew of. Actually can I just say Starbucks five pounds for a tall pumpkin spice latte. I don't know if I've just been robbed to be honest. Five pounds for a tall? I feel like I've definitely just been taken for a mug. Anyway, you can see the lovely blue sky behind me, which is really nice. But I think I'm gonna go now to Home Bargains, speaking of Halloween, and have a little look at their Halloween section. I'm not gonna buy anything because I definitely do not need any more Halloween decor, unfortunately. Like, I wish I had an excuse to buy it, but I don't. And also, when we go to Disney World, I am going to be looking at the Halloween decor at Disney World, so I'm sure I'll buy something there. I'm gonna go to Home Bargains i'll show you the section that they've got i'll show you a couple of bits if i see anything that i like do you need to pick up some bits from there as well we're halfway through the day and we're halfway through the week so feeling good and we got pumpkin spice which is always a plus i am sweating i'm sweating so I did end up going into Home Bargains, it was really great, they had all of these lovely trick or treat things for Halloween parties and everything and they had 
a Mickey lantern, which was absolutely incredible. So much lovely home decor, candles, plants. They even had some Disney plates and cups and everything, which were really, really cute. And then they had these amazing cups, which I definitely would have bought if I was looking for some cups and these mugs, which I loved. I'm home now from work, by the way. It's almost like the day never happened, but I'll show you what I did get from home bargains. I keep wanting to see a home sense and I just got like a couple of bits. So I'll show you what I picked up. First thing that I got was these Tangy Toms. These are so nostalgic. I just really, really fancy the Marto Crisp. Next thing that I got was this simple nourishing shower cream. We needed some more. And I also got this shampoo that we also needed more of. It's just herbal essences, but I love this one because it smells like lime. I have a profile for the holiday. I just got a couple of packs of these. There is nothing worse than having a headache in the Magic Kingdom. It just should not be legal. I picked up three bottles of this sun cream. I'm going to take this with us. Factor 50 stocked up because it was literally £5 in there and it's like £8 plus in Sainsbury's. So got a lot of bottles of that. This is the last thing, but I forgot about it. These adult multivitamins gummies. They are so nice. I have two of these every single morning without fail and I've been taking them for months and I really do feel like they make a difference. I was running out so I just stocked up on those and yeah, they literally look like this. They're like little gummy sweets. Love these. I'm gonna go make dinner now and take Nero out and start chilling for the evening. Also got another delivery. I'm always getting things in the post. I feel like your receptionist. <laughs> That's what it is. Jay works from home so he it's always gets fine. them. <laughs> I don't mean it. He's just in the background like chilling. Ended up ordering this from Glossier. I ended up getting a new boy brow. This is honestly the best brow product that I have ever used so I'll repurchase this again and again. It's not the cheapest but it's basically like a brow wand and they also sent me this. I think it's samples of their new foundation. I swear the Glossier packaging used to be way nicer than this. It used to come in a really nice ink box. I don't know what happened to that but all good. <laughs> I've got a beard. I love the light. Just laying on the sofa now in my absolute element and we just watched The Little Mermaid on Disney Plus. It was really, really good. I absolutely love the songs in that movie. It's just so lovely and nostalgic and thought they did a really good job of it. So that's what we've been doing with our evening. We try and chill on the weekday evenings because obviously we both work full time. So we just have a really long day and then we get home and all we want to do is just chill on the sofa and chat and just catch up and everything so that's what we've done i think i'm gonna pick this vlog back up on friday because we're going to see the nun 2 which i'm really 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 excited for jay actually ended up getting a free ticket to the showcase to go and see a film because we went enough times in the summer and they were running this promotion where if you bought enough tickets you would get a free ticket so we ended up doing that so we've got a free ticket and we've got free snacks which is amazing so we're gonna go do that but obviously we're huge horror fans so we're really excited for that film I'll pick this back up when we're going on our friday night date night and the weekend will be here finally we're in the car on the way to see the nun we're nearly at the cinema actually because i actually can't believe it's been a whole week since i started the vlog but here we are so we have to go in and see the nun 2 at the cinema and then obviously we're gonna do a car review when we come out because it wouldn't be a vlog where we went to the cinema without a car review I say good reviews, I've seen one review. Oh, it has a good one review, so hopefully it's gonna be good. I think it'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see. Second time. We're still working on it. Are we gonna do out of ten? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, eight. Four. So you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It worked for me. I'm not gonna lie. The first film, the first nun film, wasn't very good. This was a lot. Can you at least say this was better than the first one? Yeah. The first one terrible. Second one a little bit better than that. <laughs> a little bit better than terrible. But still, I really I just find the nuns so boring. Nah. It's literally like just 
cheap jump scares the whole way through. That's the only scary thing about it. I thought the jump scares were really just good. Jump scares. And I just find like if a movie has to rely on jump scares to be scary, that is a red flag. Just it's like boring and then action and it was a lot about the characters and yes it was like jump scare plot jump scare plot jump scare plot 90 percent silence and you just waiting for a loud mm. noise to make you jump like i just don't find that scary not my favorite kind of horror i can see why people enjoy that style but actors were really good in it though they were good. The actors were good. The post credit scene got me hyped, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, spoiler, there's a post credit scene. Is that a spoiler? I mean, it's on the know. internet. But, yeah. That was actually the best scene of the whole film. I thought it was good. Exactly. Like, you gave an eight, that's like a really good score. Anyway, we're not gonna do anything else now this evening. We're just gonna go home, chill, and then it's finally the weekend again. I'm so, so, so excited. So happy it's Friday. I cannot believe this vlog has spanned a whole week. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content. Have an amazing day or evening, depending on where you are, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.